All right, guys. So we have made it to pretty much the end of the semester. Okay. So today, all you're doing is reviewing for your final on December 10th. That's Thursday. I will upload another video explaining what to expect um, for your final. But for right now, just use this time to play catch up with the second nine weeks assignments. All of that is still open for you guys. But also, please look at this review. I believe you will enjoy it. Okay. So, first things first, you're going to, when you open up the assignment, please read the instructions. Your actual activity is on the Google spreadsheet, which is this right here. And it uses questions from some of this review. Now, when you open up this review document, this is where you're going to get your questions from. You're going to see that it's 13 pages. I know that sucks. That's a lot. You are not doing every single problem for all 13 pages. What you are doing are the questions that you see that are in bold. And they're separated by the, uh, by the topic. Okay. So like for kinematics, you're only going to do number three and number six. Move to forces, you're only doing number three, number five, and number eight. These specific numbers are important. Why? We're going to go to the activity. So you're going to click the physics review digital picture link. This is what's actually going to be graded in the grade books. Pretty much the last grade they were taken outside of the final. Okay. So you see how we have big four question. That's the first topic. That's the kinematic. Scroll back up. So right here, I gave you the answer already, which is 10. Now, what's so important about these particular questions is that the answers you have to type it in. The way that you know you have your answer correct is that the box will turn a certain color. Okay? So, let's say if I change this 10 to... Oh, well, you see it disappeared when I took the 10 away. But if, let's say you got the answer 10, 12.0, which is 12. Look what happens. It doesn't light up. That means your answer is incorrect. But I'm giving you, I gave you the first one, which is 10. This is the big four. You have to look at the four, question, the four equations, pick which one you have to use, and so forth. It's a review. Okay. Then you go to number six. Do the same thing. You type your answer here. And it's going to turn a certain color. Now, here for number three, if you look down here, <clears throat> that answer of 10 gave you these boxes of color. So when you finish all these questions here, and trust me, this is a whole lot less than what you will see on that review document. So just go straight to the bolded questions, okay? Once you answer all of these questions, you're going to see a message, a little picture. Once that is complete, then you click submit in Schoology to let me know that you're done. When you're done and complete, you'll get the grade that you see. Okay, But that's all you're doing for the review. Now, this is something that's most important, what's in this green box. It tells you how you need to input your answers, okay? So first thing, if you calculate, like for number three, and if it gives you a regular number of 10, no decimals, no nothing, put the 10 in as you see it, okay? One decimal place, if your calculator, if it only gives you like 7.4, put it in as is. If you calculate and you see 6.25, put it in as it is. The only time you need to round is when they give you more than two numbers after the decimal. And then for your multiple choice, they need to be all lowercase. Good luck.